Sutton causes a turnover, and Satterwhite lays it in. What makes this defense so spectacular? Well, the Blizzard defense is all about pretty much just matching up. Those guards in the front, you see uh, Burton right here, and also see right here the disruptive hands constantly. And then Burton's able to dish it up. Coach told us that, that she's always looking for ways to get better, but they'll need a big night from her tonight. Burton rolling it off the window with the left hand. It's special. I love that she's a complete guard. She can score at will, but then she's also disruptive, but she needs to be talked about more. She's very under the radar and the way she's able to create for a team just oh, like this. And there she is at the top of the arc, orchestrating the defensive effort for Northwestern. Good take inside, won't go. Second opportunity for Porter, and she puts it off the window. McKenzie on the bounce, stripped by Burton. Burton behind the back. Flips it to Hartman. That's a three. Burton dumps it down to Shaw. Goes right into the chest of Porter and lays it in. 12 points in the first half for Shaw. Now, I almost would have loved to see Nye just take it in. She had Veronica Burton beat at the moment. Keep going in those transition buckets, but then a nice three right here with Satterwhite. And it missed everything. Rebound. Shaw. And then inside to oh, Hartman man. making a tough oh, yeah. shot over her back. Well, certainly that pressure was felt against Purdue. She only had four points coming off back-to-back 20-point -back performances as Burton is sent out of bounds by Erica Porter. Burton passes up a three, and Hartman knocks it down from the top of the key. And that was great effort for following the offensive board, but just kind of got lost uh, whenever she was trying to recover it. A steal for the backcourt burglar. Keeps it inbounds and dishes it off to Hartman, and that ends a three-and-a-half-minute scoring drop. Nye inside the Bostic. Extra pass, and that goes down. Giovanna Lopez. Just to have five double-figure scores, that just shows the veteran leadership of Indiana. As we see another steal from Veronica Burton, the backcourt burglar, dishing it off to Lauren Satterwhite for the transition Lawrence. point. But Good offensive rebound from McKenzie. The putback won't go. Bostic a third opportunity. Three-point shot drained by Shannon Peebles. And it's a program that is still building for Nancy Faye now in her fifth season as Burton kicks it out to Jillian Brown. She puts in a three. That you can't leave Jillian Brown in. A lot of teams have done that and they paid for it. Satterwhite diving for it. Gets it back into the hands of Burton. And she dishes it off to Courtney Shaw. That's just been the name of the game for this matchup. Only and I getting going with the deep three. They buy into the defensive end to make sure that either one person is going to get that. Oh, man, it's now just a three-point <laughs> shootout at this point. So nine points, ten assists, seven steals for Veronica Burton, getting oh so close to a triple-double as Nye responds with a three of her. Three steals away from a triple-double for Veronica Burton. Just to add one more thing to her resume for Defensive Player of the Year, there's a steal in the putback and a timeout taken by Illinois. On final four minutes of the ball game here in Champaign. Anastasiaska puts it down. They'll have Purdue at home and then Nebraska on the road, which is the biggie in your mind to get them off the bubble and legitimately into that tournament conversation. Do you feel like they'll have to win a game in the Big Ten tournament? Let's say they win out the rest of the regular season. Do they need a Big Ten tournament win to get into that field of 68? Be her third time winning the award. And in your mind, the front runner for Naismith National Defensive Player of the Year. She has nine steals in this game. Burton with eight. 20-point games this year. Five of them in Big Ten play. And four of them coming in the last five games. She won't get the 20 points tonight. Every single night, and the way she cares for her teammates, that heart and hustle, you can't you can't beat that. She, she's just an amazing athlete. Solomon, in his 
Close loss at Indiana. And now an opportunity to potentially win out the regular season and play their way into the NCAA tournament.